Hello. Okay. Good evening. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I'm very honored to be here. I'm, I was really looking forward to be again to be here because uh, last year we actually had uh, some kind of mathematics and music workshop here, and this time it's more like a STEAM based day. So today I have many kinds of playful tools. And also, as you see, we have musical instruments here, so we will have some music too. Okay, so, uh, so first let me introduce myself again. So first, uh, I'm a pianist, jazz pianist, and also mathematician somehow, and a STEAM educator. Um, so I'm now designated as a STEM Girls Ambassador by Japanese Cabinet Office, and also I'm a member of uh, Learning Innovation Group by MITI, Ministry of Economy. Um, and also, I'm now actually now based um, in New York, and now I'm just uh, coming back from the uh, United States to have some works here. Um, so I'm very happy to be here. And also, I would like to, <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome to great uh, musicians. First, Hiroshi Suzuki. Yeah. He has ba baritone saxophone, tenor saxophone, and soprano saxophone here. So he's a multi lead player. And also, Hitomi Aikawa. So she is a percussionist, so vibraphone, and um, many, many percussions here. Yeah, yes. And so we have a band uh, called Trio Mathemata. Mathemata is a word uh, which kind of uh, integrates art and mathematics and music and many things, I think, yeah, in the liberal arts perspective. So first, I'd like to uh, first play one piece, uh, song uh, composed by myself called Hikari. Hikari is light. Um, yes, so please enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much. So, yeah, so this is a song called Hikari and it's, it's based on improvisation. So, it's, this is a song, but also we have many improvisational parts. So, it's kind of a ichigo ichi. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say in English, but uh, it's more like a. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. So, um, so I'm doing various things, and they are also doing many things. Actually, so have you ever seen Amachan or Kahogo no Kahoko or Idaten? Maybe some of you. Yeah. Yeah. So they are playing uh, those kind of music behind the drama, or yeah, many things. So. Um, so today, I would like to talk a little bit about playful themes. So, so as for themes, usually we say STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but also we like to integrate art or arts, liberal arts here, and we call the STEAM. Also, but I would like to also add some kind of physical things like sports or shintai say to this, and so we sometimes call it STEAM. Yeah, so uh, so as for STEAMs, I think what is important is not to learn some knowledge or skills or something uh, to follow the manuals or something like that. I think what is important is to discover something or explore something or tinker, tinker with many things or, and also create something. So I'm doing many kind of STEAM projects here in Japan and also sometimes uh, in New York or in Dominican Republic right now. Um, and so today, as for today, it could be difficult to do many interactive things here. So I would like to kind of deliver some things so that you can, you could be maybe discovering something here in this, yeah, 90 minutes. So, um, and I think what is important here also is to have um, interdisciplinary expertise. Um, so, and also we need emotional things and as well as logical things or critical thinking as well in order to create something really, really new. Yeah, here, I, uh, Einstein was a great violinist and he says that great scientists should be the artists and also Okaki Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi is a, a famous mathematician and he says that Jocho is very important in mathematics too. In order to maybe discover something new, sometimes not just logic, but also some kind of inspirations or intuitions are important. So we have to kind of grow our emotional uh, things too. Yes. And so, as I said before, in liberal arts in Western world, maybe as you know, um, music, um, algebra is one of, part of mathematics, and geometry, again, part of mathematics, and also astronomy. These four subjects were really, really important in the liberal arts. So, somehow, music and mathematics are very closely inter in integrated before. So, all the notes, musical notes, uh, has some kind of, um, so it's, it's vibrating the, the ear. So now you see Do, but it's actually, it's vibrating the ear and you hear this kind of vibration as a sound. And if, so there is a kind of basic frequency so how, how many times it vibrates in a second or something like that. And so as for the frequency, if you double the frequency, so if you double this frequency, this dose frequency, then it will be now, do you know what, what is this? Do, yes, again do. But it's, the height is one octave uh, higher. Yeah, so it means so if you double the frequency, the musical note goes one octave up, actually. So if you double the frequency here, 
if you double the frequency again here, if you double the frequency again here. So this is like very <laughs> basic math, uh, arithmetic. And, but in the steam, it's really important to make a mistake. So if you make a mistake, it's totally okay, but I would like to ask you. Um, so here and here is, uh, there is a three octaves difference here. So, so by multiplying what to this frequency, can you get this frequency? So it means two times two times two means it's what? Two times two times two. Yeah, it's uh, now it's in Japan, so it's very quiet right now. So if it's in New York, many people say, yeah, something. So it's totally okay if you, yeah, I made a mistake. What, what, is it? what is it? Please. Or maybe Suzuki-san. Nikakeru, nikakeru, ni. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Thank you for yeah getting this support. So, so eight. Yes. So these are. So if you multiply eight to this frequency, it goes to here. So, yes. So actually, two, four, eight. So there should be three and. Four five, six, seven between these two. So now uh, I, I will tell you the kind of the answer, but roughly, so if you multiply by two, it goes here. And if you write, multiply by three, it goes to so and four, do again, and five, me, and that's for six, six is three times two. So, but you can remember that times two means one octave up. So six is equal to, oh, uh, so as for the musical name, note name, uh, it's equal to three. So it's again, so, six is so. And seven is T flat. And eight again, two times two times two, so this is two. And three, uh, nine is three times three. So three times three means re. So this is kind of a, a very basic arithmetic here, but also it's generating many, many musical notes. And it's kind, kind of very interesting. So in the Greek era, people calculated a lot. And uh, make uh, many new, uh, discovered many new notes, like, yeah, so if you like to have uh, this kind of ratio, you can hear some kind of chord. And we have a history of this kind of tuning uh, temperaments. Yeah, so before, um, it used, uh, Western people used to use P Pythagorean temperament, maybe you know the Pythagoras. And Pythagorean temperament, Pythagoras loved two things, like, and so he chose just two prime numbers, smallest prime numbers, which is two and three. So he used uh, two and three as a prime number only to make all the musical notes. So here, do, mi, so is not so beautiful. They don't have a that's so beautiful ratio. Like uh, 64 times 81 times 96, maybe. So, so they didn't use any domiso before. So in the Gregorian church song or something like that, uh, they didn't use domiso. So they didn't discover the chord, uh, which you maybe hear a lot these days. So uh, maybe we can, yeah, play one song from that year. So this is called Ave Novires. And it's, it was played in the 13th century in the Western world as a religious song. And as you, maybe you can see, you, uh, so you cannot hear this kind of thing. You just hear a very beautiful two, two, three chord like. 
You can hear a lot of these, but you don't hear any of these. It's a subtle difference, but it's uh, it could influence to the music a lot. So maybe you can hear this. Yeah, so I've been looking at this. But I change it to, uh, so we welcome Renaissance theater. And because of Renaissance theater, uh, people kind of got bored with these kind of just two prime numbers, temperament. So uh, people rediscovered a very, very beautiful me. So actually, it's the fifth note. Uh, we, in a, it's kind of complex, uh, confusing, but in musical note, we call it third note, but it's actually, as for the frequency, it's a fifth note. Uh, so this is me. So, so after they rediscovered those kind of beautiful me, uh, so they found just uh, temperament. So then uh, people found, uh, thought that a domicile or associate or these are very, very beautiful tones. So they tried to use that in a music. But as for the uh, just tone temperament, there is a problem that it's, uh, it's beautiful for one key, some keys, but as for some different keys, sometimes it's not so beautiful. It's sometimes uh, too dirty so to play with. So they actually had some kind of restrictions in changing the keys. So we play another song from a uh, Renaissance era, which is called Resel Kada. Uh, so he is buried on sax today. Yes. And there will be kind of very uh, decorative, yeah, in, in, not improvisation, but yeah, very great abundant expressions from his saxophone. Yes, please enjoy it. Yeah.
And after that, um, people tried hard to discover more creative or more free, beautiful temperaments. And like Baha, Baha tried a lot. So Baha was really, actually, he, I think he also calculated a lot. And uh, based on the music, uh, he changed the tune. And uh, uh, he would have liked to have, liked to have a very uh, free key, uh, temperaments in order to really uh, change the keys. So uh, we would like to play one music from a Baja composition, uh, which is called Sonata 2. Um, maybe as you can hear, it's more free and creative. Some people, of course, it's difficult to define what is creative, but uh, for uh, composers, sometimes it's really great to uh, have various types of keys so that they can have a great journey. And so it's not actually based on an equal temperament. So Baha used a little bit different temperament, but still it's that kind of trend is similar. So this is, uh, this was composed uh, for the organ. And uh, so he will play the right hand, she will play left hand, I will play foot, <laughs> and also sometimes uh, left hand too. Yeah, yes. And yeah, and also there could be many, many symmetries inside the song. So please enjoy that symmetry too.
Thank you so much. So today we usually using this equal temperament, which is, seems to be not so beautiful, but actually it is somehow quite beautiful because this uh, me, this is very similar to uh, so four, uh, five over four, and this is very similar to two, three over two. Um, so from now I will play three different domicil, but I believe many of you cannot tell uh, which is which. Um, so it could be very, very similar to each other, but it, these are different. And also another tone again, so this could be three, uh, two, five, two, six chord. Uh, so, but first you will hear three domicil, so please hear quietly and yeah, yeah, please. So yeah, I just stop. Did you think uh, was the most beautiful one? Can I ask you the first one? And it's there is no correct answer or something. So it depends on your senses. But still, yeah, I would like to ask you the first one. Oh, thank you so much. And the second one? Oh, I see. And third one? Okay. Again, yeah, <laughs> I will try again. So I will have a little more. Actually, it's uh, first one is based on Pythagorean tuning temperament, and the second one is just tone, and the third one was uh, equal temperament, almost. So, so maybe if you hear very closely, the second one could be very very smooth, and the first one and the third one could have some kind of vibration, like, and it could be really beautiful for some people, but. Uh, if you think that smooth, straight thing is beautiful, maybe the second one could be the one. And as for the third one, maybe you are very used to hearing this kind of equal temperament. So maybe you just get uh, familiar with it and you think that it, this is more uh, friendly or beautiful. Yeah, but, but and also by the way, this is a, a programming co uh, co uh, language, coding language uh, which is called music blocks and um, this is very similar to scratch maybe as you know so even elementary school children can do this kind of thing and this was developed by uh, MIT professor uh, Walter Bender. Walter Bender was a second uh, director at MIT Media Lab before um, yeah and also I'm also collaborating with Walter um, this is a very, very simple block-based type um, programming language, but still you can learn kind of the relations with music and mathematics by coding music. And you can uh, debug it by hearing it, and if you have some kind of weird music there, you can just uh, find the error or something. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So here, maybe as you can see, it's the size is based on the volume. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. And as for the color, it's based on the frequency inside. But maybe you think that if do is those frequency is just do, but actually it's not. So there is there are many do like uh, you can have a soprano sax do or vibraphone do or maybe you can say do do <laughs> oh thank you so much. 
And I didn't see it. <laughs> 何色でした紫っぽい。Yeah. So as for like a、um, bigger tone or maybe higher tone? Yeah, it's kind of difficult. Ah, it's more easier for you to see. So, if it has a higher frequency, of course it's high also, but even, even any d o o r has a very various frequencies inside. So, its root frequency is just d o or something, but still it has、uh, various other, other infinite frequencies inside. And so, based on those kind of the balance of the frequency,、uh, the color is decided. So, if you have a Very high one, it could be something like、uh, pink or red, and if it's、uh, maybe、uh, my voice is like blue, and if it's maybe is that baritone is also blue, maybe yeah. <laughs> and if it's, it's if it's a percussion, oh yeah. So if you have many, many frequencies. A lot, then it could be a white. So if it's,、uh, I'm sure it is more like a white, yes. So you can enjoy this kind of thing as an art too. And so, and here actually I have a code here. It's very, very basic form. It's, I'm using here a, a p5.js, which is very similar to processing or JavaScript, but still, there are a lot of artworks of p5 or processing. Uh, on the internet, so maybe you can enjoy these kind of things、uh, by customizing these kind of things. Maybe I can show you、well. some other things. I, there could be lots of these kind of things, and you can enjoy those kind of art. So you can draw some picture by playing some music.、Um, also, you can control those kind of colors, uh, volumes, uh, directions by music too. Yeah. so I sometimes play with these kind of things. And then maybe, as you know,、uh, so we have a very great formula called the free, free analysis. So, we we can,、um, so thanks to free analysis, we can send audio by emails or、uh, play the keyboard so that we can、uh, have a very similar tone like vibraphone or something like that. Because、uh, we can analyze all the Ingredients inside any musical notes, like、uh, any, yeah. So, this is a free analysis. So, yeah. Ah, this is wave, sound wave. So, if you have a beautiful musical tone, it could be a very beautiful wave. And if you, oh, yeah. So, if you change the height of the musical nose, it could be the size or width could be different. And also, maybe we can show you another thing. So, this is more like a, what, what's inside of that musical nose. So, if you, yeah, so maybe you can see some peaks, not one, yeah, but peaks are very. Similar to like a natural integers, natural integers. So, so it has many, so basic frequency, but also it has a multiple of these frequencies. Oh, it has a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is more like a noise, so it has various, various types of s o u n It's not so beautiful, but it's more like chaotic things. Yes. So, using these kind of things,、uh, we can create some arts too. And also, maybe we can yeah, do many things too. And also,、uh, so we have some kind of mathematics behind, like using integrals or something. So, integrals or sine. Functions are very, very useful for us.、Uh, without these k i n d of things, we cannot live actually.、Uh, so, Wi Fi uses this kind of free analysis and also keyboards and emails. 
anything like audio or many things are using these kind of Fourier analysis. And maybe we human beings are now exploring some kind of uh, Fourier analysis for uh, odor, uh, smells or taste too, but we haven't uh, discovered those kind of things so far. Yes. And also, uh, like as I said, Baha also used uh, abundant symmetries inside his work. So you can see the score as it is, but also you can flip the score like this, or you can flip the score like this, or you can also rotate 180 degrees. Uh, yes. And you can uh, read that like that. So, um, so the score is like a graph for mathematicians. And so Baha used many, many symmetries like, like this one. So he was actually a very, not cost, but cost effective composer. I'm not sure how to say, but so he just composed first bar and he used many uh, variations of that first bar in the song so that he can compose a very, very beautiful one building or architect, yes, as a work. So, and uh, so here I'd like to show you uh, one very interesting uh, composition by Baha, which is uh, called Crab Canon. And so Suzuki-san, Hiroshi, will play music from the front, and she will play the music from the left. But here again, so Suzuki-san's melody and Hitomi's melody, uh, Hiroshi's melody and Hitomi's melody seem to be really different. But still, if you combine that, it will be a very beautiful music. And also, if you see that really clearly, it's just the same if you read just from the behind. Yeah. So yeah, please play it. played a lot like this and so he so in not just this song but he also played a lot uh, with symmetries in the music yeah so maybe you know Goldberg variations by Baha and um, this so he uh, composed canon canon uh, type of music in the number three six nine twelve blah blah blah, blah. so multiply by uh, in the number uh, multiply of three, he made a canon, and the canon is like a uh, like a kaeru no uta. So it's just a <laughs> you, you mean it? No. Uh, so so the first so uh, this first line and the second line are just almost just the same, exactly the same uh, besides the last part, but they just followed after the first one, but it will be a very, very beautiful tone. And the number six is just, uh, it's uh, very similar to each other, but just one note up, or two notes up for the number nine, and three notes up for the number 12, or something like that. So Baha was really, really uh, kind of very interesting person from the perspective of mathematics or arithmetics, yes. And also you can make a really uh, mini pa palindrome, kaibun kyoku, too. And you can make, compose music by just randomly thinking about the numbers and using the 
symmetry, sometimes you can create some kind of not so great, but still uh, music like music. Yeah, and so I sometimes use this kind of uh, composition workshop using symmetries too. And uh, uh, maybe, do you know Escher, Dutch artist? Uh, yeah, so he also, he's very similar to Baha. He used many symmetries inside his works. Um, yes, and these are not by Escher, but still, um, these kind of uh, repetitions in, in the two-dimensional plane. Uh, this is called tessellations, but tessellations has abundant symmetries inside, but the, uh, the type of symmetries are actually uh, limited to just 17 types. It's proved uh, in the 20th century. Um, it's also related with uh, topology, um, very deep mathematics behind. Yeah. So sometimes design or music or many kinds of things are related with uh, mathematics deep inside. And also if you think about this in a three-dimensional space, uh, it could be also translated into some kind of Kesho, 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 Crystal. Yes, also, so it's also uh, related with chemistry or even biology or many things. Uh, here, I like to play a little bit with you. Uh, so I sometimes do this kind of improvisational work. Uh, so I will, so music is like um, story making based on some kind of seas or yeah, something. And so today I would like you to give us five or six musical notes. And also I would like you to also add some title, title or mood or any theme uh, so that we can create some improvisation based on that. So could you please uh, give me some musical notes like Do or Fa sharp or T flat or even Japanese could be okay. Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, please give me some musical notes. Ra or anything. Fa sharp. Fa sharp. Fa sharp. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> He's working a lot, yes. And one C, C? okay, T. C. C. T. 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 Oh my God. T. <laughs> yes. And E flat. E flat. E flat. E flat. E flat. Um, three more. Uh, two more, maybe. Please. Anything. Sometimes small child said to what katasamuri or things here. So anything. A. 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 And one more. E. e. Okay. So it's very weird thing. <laughs> it's kind of difficult. <laughs> So, can somebody give us some one theme? Any theme like winter or anything? Even Japanese could be okay. Nanika tema, itadakenai de shoka. Anything could be okay. Olympics. Oh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Olympic. 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 <laughs> Five? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's kind of different. It's totally different. <laughs> okay, so we will make a song called Olympic using this kind of five notes. So it could be translated like. So we will use these five notes as a base of the top of melody, but also maybe we will have some variations here. Um, make some music. Yeah, please, yeah, please enjoy. 
オリンピックオリンピック So you were marching and running, maybe, and sometimes we got lost or <laughs> worried. Or <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, it was、oh, Olympic song. Yes, dedicated to Olympic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for giving us this nonsense theme. Um, so also, I would like to play a little bit more with、uh, music. So this. Although now is 2020, <laughs> I made a I composed a song 2019,、uh, which is based on the binary expressions. So 2019 is three times 673, and 673 could be translated into those kind of binary zero zero one zero one zero one zero 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 one. So, it could be also translated into some kind of reason pattern. And if you multiply that by two,、uh, as for a, a binary expression, it's just shifted to the left.、Um, yes. So, it would be very similar to the sec second one, but the first、uh, part is an、uh, expression of、uh, 673 times two. So, if you add those Two things, it would be a 2019. And also, we, I used uh, our uh, birth year and birth dates. And I just didn't like to express my birth year here. <laughs> But 
as for birthday, uh, my birthday is uh, June the 13th, and Hiroshi's birthday is this April the 21st, and Hitomi's birthday is January the 31st. Well, and I change that into binary expressions, and I use that as a uh, reason, and I put some music modes there, uh, so that we can have a music here. So first, I will play uh, the second part, like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, maybe it's actually different. Sorry, maybe I will play six. So the second one is six, uh, 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 six, seven, two, three times two. And Hitomi will play six, seven, three. The first one, sorry, is, yeah, switch. It should be switched. And uh, uh, if you combine those two, it will be 2019. I'm sorry, it's kind of complex, but still, yeah, you can enjoy this kind of, kind of yeah, play, asobi, <laughs> yeah, with music and mathematics. Yes.
そう。So, if you try, if you can make 2020 song too. Yes.、Um, yes, maybe you could hear、uh, birthday and maybe birth year too. So, you can, if you hear closely this song, you can tell which birth year we have. Yeah. And also, yeah, there are many other things going on, like,、uh, like uh, as for the rhythm, it's very, very related to kind of arithmetics or maybe mathematics sometimes. Okay, so, so yeah, I'd like to introduce you、uh, another one, one more song、uh, based on five beats. So, Usually in Japan, maybe you are very familiar with four Bs or five, three Bs, but there could be some like five Bs or six Bs or four, seven Bs, 11,、uh, nine Bs, eleven Bs. In the Eastern Europe, there are a lot of these kind of eleven Bs or nine Bs. And also we have kind of a one beat、uh, idea, or sometimes even zero Bs, like no. So, you don't have any kind of this kind of beat. If you don't have any beat, it could be translated into zero beat. And also, if you have just one beat, like a heart attack, heart, not heart attack, <laughs> heart beat, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Then it could be something like a one beat. Yeah, so, but today I'd like to introduce you one song,、uh, which is five beats. Um, called Mitsubachi, and this was composed by myself. And、uh, so maybe you can hear something similar to Mitsubachi, maybe?、Uh, yeah, yeah. So it would be three plus two. Three plus two. So it's, it would be something like one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. And it, three could be divided into half. So 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1. So like.
Um, so maybe you could hear five beads here, and actually it included some four beads also inside, but resin, there could be many things, and also uh, one bead could be felt like a circle. Uh, so if you have this kind of one bead, and if you divide it into two, this is R divided by two. Maybe you can try a two. Maybe you can try down then. So this is a divided by two. And also, so next, we would like to divide it into three. Let's go. Hey, one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, let's try four. Yeah. This is four. Uh, let's try five too. Seven. Yeah, please. Thank you. And six. So six could be three times two, so maybe you can feel that. Maybe seven and eight eight yeah it's good too maybe yeah okay okay thank you so much <laughs> but maybe you you could feel which is prime number and which is not or something like that so yeah so we sometimes musicians also feel like these kind of things and you can go sometimes you move like a journey between these kind of things and also sometimes if you she feels three but he feels five or and i feel seven or i'm not sure but yeah it could be many things so many musical things could be translating into mathematics or arithmetics and that's why I'm doing many kind of workshops like this. Uh, so and, uh, at the mathematical department, we sometimes uh, have some uh, Suri Joshi workshop for math girls or their mothers. Uh, this, so here the theme it could be discover math or create something with mathematics. Yes, um, I like to continue that. And also I sometimes do some math or steam times sports. I think you uh, buy with rugby or soccer or basketball, baseball, and also I'm doing like music things. So I am now kind of really interested in AR kind of things using Unity before here. So AR is maybe, as you know, is uh, augmented reality. So AR is kind of very popular all over the world right now and um, like VR. VR is virtual reality. AR is uh, augmented reality like a Pokemon Go. Yeah. yeah. So here even this kind of uh, drawing could <laughs> yeah could generate maybe he has some sound but just we cannot hear usually but uh, this is a kind of magical mirror here um so you can hear uh those kind of uh hidden sounds yeah and sometimes you can also see uh, maybe you, you can you cannot see uh just a moment <laughs> um i so i can yes something like this yeah so i can put i am now playing a lot of it with it and so here is a very newly newly made <laughs> so hiro-san draw this thing um i've never tried to express <laughs> yeah, so, so here I have a lot of musical instruments here and I, so sometimes it could be uh, combined and integrated in like a jam session and you can combine many types of uh, music um, to create some uh, more integrated whole music. 
yeah, so maybe later you can try to play with it. So now time is almost up here right now. So we'd like to finish uh, this seminar. Thank you again. And um, with one song uh, composed by Hiroshi. Uh, it's called Nadia. Okay, so, um, so this is also created by some music, music or sound around. So I would like to play Nadia with this background. So, Nadia is based on Arabian rhythm, and sometimes you can hear 12 is decomposed into 3 times 4 or sometimes 4 times 6. 3. 4 times 3 and 3 times 4 seems to be equal, but in music, sometimes it could be hard differently. So you can enjoy two decompositions of 12 or many other things. So thank you very much again and please enjoy Nadia.
Thank you so much. Uh, I think it's very, yeah, kind of, I felt it's 90 minutes are very short, but it, I enjoyed it really, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, so today it was just 90 minutes, but I would like you to have some kind of hints or inspirations behind it. So that maybe someday we could collaborate somehow, maybe over many disciplines or expertise. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, again, so thank you very much for inviting me to GFT. So I, yeah, I would like to meet with you all again. Thank you so much. Thanks.